I made a video unboxing first impressions of the Google Pixel Buds. Go ahead and link that video right there. Ding, in case you didn't see it and you wanna go ahead and check it out. Make sure you come back and watch this video when you're done because this one is a little bit of a follow-up video. I've had some time to use and enjoy these and I wanna share my overall experience, thoughts, feelings and concerns about the Google Pixel Buds 2 true wireless earbuds. So the Google Pixel Buds are these really, really clever egg-shaped buds that have these, I don't know any other way to describe them other than adorable little earbuds in there. And they just, they fit in my ear perfectly. They don't fall out. I have no problems with them whatsoever. And I want you to know that as far as fitting my weird abnormal ears, cause they're a little different. If you've been paying attention, I've explained that on the channel in the past, they fit great. They have this automatic detection. That is probably the best automatic detection that I've ever seen in an earbud. They have touch pads on the side. The sides of these little guys actually have technology built into them. Not just like tap and double tap technology, like swipe forward and swipe back technology. There's a lot going on, which also means when you have a lot going on in any piece of electronic, there's a lot that can potentially go wrong. When I have them in play, I've noticed a couple new issues with them. These are my go-to earbuds when I'm out and about. Up until two weeks ago, I would have told you that these are the winners one maybe I even did say it in one of my videos I can't remember at this point I make so many videos I get so confused but I digress I've been having issues with my pixel buds I can sit here and tell you all the great and amazing things about it everything and all the amazing reasons I think that you should buy them at the end of the day I can no longer give you the seal of approval I've been disappointed in Google I've been a little sad it's my God, it's listening to me. It's always listening. Google is always listening Sorry, to me. Sorry, I don't understand. <sighs> These are no longer my go-tos. Here's my issue. I put them in, I'm talking to people. I'm in this zone where everything sounds great. And then all of a sudden, it's like one of the earbuds just decides like, I'm gonna stop working. What the f is that about Google? What do you mean you're gonna stop working? We've moved away from this Bluetooth world for productivity on our headsets. And we've moved into the world of our Bluetooth audio devices provide us that Bluetooth connectivity for productivity for phone calls, video conferences, all sorts of other stuff. So that is why I like them. They are why, that's why I told you that they were my favorite because they sounded great. Wish they were a little bit louder, but they sounded great and the connectivity on them was phenomenal. But as time progressed, as things moved forward, as they were put into use a little bit more and more, all of a sudden that weird connectivity thing would kick in and it would just stop working. I'm like, okay, take it out, put it back in, put it in the case, put it back in all during the call and it would restart and start working again. Okay, so I got it working again. And then today at the same time, they both kind of cut out at me. <laughs> what is this? And I'm not on an iPhone. I'm on an Android device. These are built for Android and they also iPhone compatible. But I was like, there's no way. So I started thinking, these have been giving me issues for a while now. And I started thinking to myself, are these acceptable? Are you gonna go ahead and have this video out there on the internet, letting everybody think everything is okay and these are phenomenal? Because that's what my last video was and I felt like I wasn't doing you, my viewers, a service. So that's what this video is about. A word of caution. There are issues plaguing the Google Pixel Buds and I took to the internet and I started to find that it wasn't just me that Android authority is reporting this issue. The form on the Google support page, users are just up in arms about because their $179 Google Pixel Buds are no longer working correctly. Then The Verge did an article a few days ago. I'm thinking to myself, this is a problem. And I don't know if we're talking about it. It's hard to keep up with tech problems, right? Because the real world, there's like big problems. This, is it even a problem on a scale? Well, if you wanna use the Google Pixel Buds or if you're thinking about buying them, 
I think we gotta talk about it. I think we gotta tell people. We have to say, wait, hold on a second. Don't do anything until Google fixes this. Because we don't know if they're gonna, they say they're gonna, but we don't know if they can. Google has not been really known to deliver when it comes to the software and hardware together category. It takes them a little while to get it right. They're still trying to work on it. So are they gonna get it right? Maybe. Do they have it right right now? Absolutely not. So don't buy them. It's a hard pass. Google Pixel Buds, you were the love of my life and you are now my biggest disappointment, my blemish in my true wireless earbuds arsenal. Now, one thing I can say is no one that I've talked to on them has reported that they haven't been able to hear me. So that's good. The issue is I hear them very poorly. It sounds crackly, it's connectivity issues. When these first came out, I would be able to open the case and whatever Android device they were closest to, it would be like, hey, you wanna go ahead and pair? Hey, you wanna connect? And it was just like seamless and smooth and nice and it was Google Pixel magic. But now it's like I'm having to press the button, repair, forget, repair. Something is wrong. Some sort of Android update, some sort of security patch, something or other in the world isn't right when it comes to the phone and the buds talking to each other. So they need to go off, have a key key, work it out, figure it out, come back, bring us solutions to this problem so we can get back to enjoying our Google Pixel Buds too. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video or you want to see more like it or you just want to see more of me, which I want to see more of you, then go ahead and consider hitting that lovely subscribe button. Don't forget the thumbs up and to drop me a comment and tell me what your experience is with the Google Pixel Buds 2. Are you having issues? Are you not having issues? Are they a hard pass? Are you going to wait for them to come out or are you hoping maybe they're going to go on sale for 149 bucks around Christmas time? Because if these were like 140 bucks, 139, 145 somewhere, it would be a killer steal. There's nothing special, overly crazy special about them. I thought there was going to be something special about them, but they were not. They're just, they're just earbuds. So, for the love of tech, till next time, namaste. Thanks Nomadic Gear for supporting the channel. I'm kind of known for spending a ridiculous amount of money on luggage and high-end backpacks. Then I came across Nomadic Bags and I absolutely fell in love with the Nomadic Backpack and now I'm in love with the Nomadic Carry-On Pro. This is a two bag in one type of deal and it will not disappoint you. If you're in the market for some new luggage, a messenger bag or a backpack that's big enough to take on a trip and still carry on the plane, then look no further. Take a moment and check them out link is in the description. Don't forget to click on the red sale link at the top of the page. You'll thank me later.